everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. It is Wednesday, which means it's hump day, baby. The pepperoni pizzas are outside. Britney Spears is like, man, it's so cold. Let me inside, daddy-o. But every single time I open the door, <laughs> he just walks inside and then comes out for mo. <laughs> yeah. So I have an insane episode for you guys today. I hope you stick around and watch the entire thing because I bought something extremely special for me and the Huskies. Now you'll notice I have my Tacoma parked right there and today I'm gonna be doing some restoration. I've been working on my fenders for this Tacoma. I'll show you a little bit of what they look like now. So if you guys didn't already know, I love old cars, especially from like the early 2000 years and I own a 2002 first generation Toyota Tacoma. Now this truck has great miles for its age, but you can see the fender flares are sun bleached to the point where they're basically white. So what I'm doing is I'm spray painting them and putting them basically back to stock black. Exactly how they were supposed to look and be when you bought the truck. So you can see this one right here is different from the back that I've already done. Yeah, you can tell the difference. It looks way better. The only problem is I'm not a huge spray painter. Like, I'm not great at it. It's basically my first time spray painting fenders. So if you come up close, you can see there are some like, I, I sprayed too much. So I basically have to do a few more coats on this fender and it should look normal. So if you guys are wanting to do this project, don't overspray. You basically just wanna spray paint as little as you can and do like three or four layers and you should be good. Now I do plan on getting brand new tires for this Tacoma, but that's coming later on. I wanna set this thing up to be good to go, basically make it look brand new, as brand new as I possibly can. So that means I'm gonna have to do this entire bumper down here. And you can see that the paint has faded pretty good right here. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try and get some paint restoration done to the truck at some point. But I kinda just wanted to show you guys my Tacoma. The reason I'm showing you this is it's, it has a lot to do with what I'm gonna be showing you today. The Huskies are like, dude, can we come over there and hang out in the truck, bro? <laughs> Britney Spears, you're so crazy, dude. Come on, let's go inside. Dog number one, dog number two. Oh, look at that cinnamon bun booty. Looking so fresh and so clean. So I wanna give you guys a big thank you. A big thank you to the Husky community because lately it's been rough for me. I've just had so much stuff going on in my life. We just moved. I'm now living alone. So you can do the math there on that whole situation. There's just so much stuff, so many changes going on in my life that it's very hard to make make content, especially content that's upbeat and happy when you're feeling crummy and poopy. So to everybody that's stuck with me through this entire process, I really appreciate you. The Husky community is so awesome, it's so strong. You guys have a yearning to learn all about the Siberian Husky breed, and also you like to have fun because you know we keep it goofy on the 60 Formula channel. But life is life, and every once in a while, you kind of just gotta go through what you gotta go through. So for everyone who has stuck with the channel and hung out with us all 600 and like 50,000 of the Husky community members. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Britney Spears and Gila love you guys more than you could ever know and I appreciate everyone 10 times more than that. So thank you again from the bottom of our little farts. So another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the other day I posted a video. It was a short video, literally 60 seconds long, one of the Husky shorts that I make on the channel. And in that video, we did something called the Husky Pepsi Coke challenge where I had the Huskies taste a couple sips of Pepsi and Coke and I got tons of questions in the comments that were like uh, hey is it okay to have your Husky drink soda can I give my Husky a Coca-Cola obviously the answer to that is no Pepsi and Coca-Cola isn't good for people like you shouldn't be drinking it it's just something you drink seldomly to enjoy your life to enrich the experiences of living not necessarily good for you so my answer to everybody is no don't give your huskies coke or pepsi probably not a good idea but here's the thing you become 
the parent when you're a dog owner. It's, it's up to you to decide what's good for your dog or your cat or your hamster, you know, whatever you have. So understandably, a lot of people kind of were like, it's very wrong to give your husky Pepsi or Coca-Cola. And yo, look, I am not the pillar of morality with what kind of lifestyle you should or shouldn't have with your Siberian Husky. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide what is right and what is wrong for your dogaroni pizza. That's why I love it when YouTubers like Jody from Kiyush the Stunt Dog just like jump on over to my YouTube channel. They never comment on any videos I do unless I do something that they deem slightly out of line. Jody runs on over to my YouTube channel, even though it's a 60 second video and it's basically harmless that my perfectly healthy huskies have one tiny sip of soda in their once in a lifetime existence. She wants to go over and badge me where I release my own content. I never go to her channel, never do anything like that. And honestly, she never damns anybody for feeding their dogs like puppuccinos, which is literally cream and sugar, which is not good for your dog, but everybody on YouTube gives their dog puppuccinos. So I'm just like, you know, the hypocrisy, bruh. Go ahead, I'm waiting for her to comment down below. I'd love to read it. So let me just end it here. Don't give your dogs things that are obviously and clearly bad for them, but when you become a parent, you get to make the choices for your dogs. Don't let people make you feel bad for letting your dog live a little bit and enjoy their life in tiny ways. Sick of that junk, bro. After today's video, you guys are gonna be like, oh, snap diggity. This is going to get intensification. All right, so before I go ahead and bust out the huge toy that I got for me and the Huskies and show you the surprise for today, I'm really quickly going to do a time lapse of me painting the fenders on my truck so that you guys can see a quick before and after and just get some footage of the Huskies running around outside and being goofballs. You guys ready? <laughs> you are? How ready? Husky.exe, frozen. Oh, whoa, you super ready then. Okay, for this video, what I'm gonna be using is a bunch of just towels to wash down the truck. I'm gonna use engine degreaser. This is going to degrease and clean off the fenders on the side before we paint it. Uh, this is the paint that I'm using. It's Rust-Oleum trim and bumper paint. And then we are going to use a few decks of cards. Now, I saw this trick on YouTube, so don't give me credit for it, but basically what you do is you stick these cards in the crack between the seal and the fender flare, and you'll see the entire process, and it provides you with an extra layer of protection so you don't have to try and fit the frog tape between the seal and your fender flare. You'll see that in just a second. And then we got the frog tape. Frog tape. It keeps paint out and keeps lines sharp. No, I don't, it's, it's green. That's that's why I like it, to be honest with you. But I mean, I like blue, but when you get green tape, I, I, it, frogs and, you know. Then we got some masks to help protect us from the COVID that flies out of the cans. And then we have some newspaper to cover our truck with. So let's go ahead, get ready, pull out the GoPro, and let's go and fix the fender flares. Are you ready, my little son? <laughs> You're right, then let's go. Pull. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, I put just a ton of playing cards right inside the like the crack between the seal and the actual truck. What you wanna do is kind of overlap them. Make sure each card overlaps one another so that no paint can go through. Then what I did is I just went ahead and I put frog paint 
all around the edge up until under here so I don't get any paint under there. And then now I'm going to cover probably this with some frog paint, just right here. And then I'll take newspaper and we're gonna go above with the newspaper. And then time to clean and paint. Let's do it. We are basically good to go. This is all covered up here on the driver's side fender. We got the newspaper covered up over most of, you know, where the spray off will go. We got all the cards lined up. And then of course we got the frog paint everywhere to make sure everything's sealed up. This bad boy is basically ready to get painted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it off and put degreaser on this, wipe it down, and then we'll give it a new, fresh, shiny coat of paint. Well, at least a few. Let's do it. Alright, so the first coat is on. I can already tell I did a way better job this time than the last time because there's no dripping this time. I'm just going way lighter. I'll do like three coats of super light, which is what you should be doing anyways, keeping it like at least a foot and a half away, maybe a foot away from the fender. You can see that there's no dripping this time in comparison to the back fender, which I'm gonna have to fix, but it's no biggie because we'll just go over it with another coat of paint. But you see that, you see how heavy messed you up boy so we're gonna let this dry for about i don't know 20 minutes and then we're gonna put another coat on and then we're gonna let that dry for 20 minutes and then we're gonna put another coat on so let's go play with the dogs what's up what's you doing what's going on back here but you can't catch me <laughs> you guys are way faster than me how did that happen how did that happen what is this what is this? Go get it. Come on, Hila. Come on, Hila. Come on, girl. What you got? What you got, huh? What is this thing? What is this thing in the jiggy? Yeah. Guess it. Guess it. Urgh. You better let go of that. You better let go of it. That's mine, dude. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I almost got it, and it's mine. I'm not gonna throw this with you attached to it, dude. Go get it. Oh, she lost it! She lost the balls! Come. Good girl. Sit. Good mama. That's a good job. Focus. Good girl, good girl, can I get a paw? Good girl, other paw. Good girl, stand. Good job, you're so smart. Good job, come on, let's go. <laughs> All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Looks pretty 
dry and pretty good. No drippage as I expected. I did a way better job this time. So let's just go ahead, put another coat on it, and then uh, let that coat dry. See what it looks like. There's the second coat, looks absolutely delicious. No dripping. Yeah, the first time I did this, I just did it really, I didn't know how to spray paint very well. And now you can just see like the gloppity, like I really messed this one up. I, it's cool, I'll go over this whole thing. I'll even polish this down a little bit if I have to, just that drippage right there. It's not super thick. It's like you can barely feel it, but for some reason it comes up really well on camera. Like look at this. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't make that mistake over here. Learn from my mistakes. Light coats, small ones. Do them slowly. You don't have to, don't. Don't put Nickelodeon gack all over this. Just, this looks delicious. This looks, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. Okie doke, so it's been about an hour. Everything's dried, it's ready to go. It looks great. I'm gonna show you what the other one looks like on the other side as soon as we're done showing this one off. So let's take a look real quick. Now would you look at that? That is a stunning brand new restored tire flare. It's awesome. Looks great. I did a one this is perfect. Literally it looks brand new. No drips, no nothing. I did it perfect this time. Look at that. This thing looks brand spanking new. And look at the truck. Wow. Now, in case you were wondering what this looked like before, let me show you. Come on over. Oh, <laughs> that is what was on the other side before. So that, yes, I need a new light here. I'm gonna get it. This. To that. Boom shakalaka. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you the brand new toy that I got for me and the Huskies. Oh, 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 oh boy, look how cool this thing is. This is the brand new Jeep for the Chan Chan. Awesome, deliciously delectable Jeep Wrangler. TJ model, my favorite model of Jeep besides the coveted CJ. The wheels are big and beefy. I got Mickey Thompson's on here. Now this Jeep Wrangler is from 2005 and it has only 90,000 miles, which is great for a truck this old. I love Jeeps that have these old style handles and when you look inside there's nothing but simplicity no computers nothing to connect to the internet with just good old-fashioned simplistic knobs and gauges now this is an automatic and there is like a little radio in it but these models never came with power locks or power windows so it's just like the good old days where you just gotta Crankety, crankety, crankety. Now, obviously, Jeep Wranglers don't have tons of storage room, but the top comes off, dude. The top comes off for maximum pleasure.
All right, without further ado, let's let the Huskies investigate the brand new jeep -aroni. You guys ready? I know Britney Spears is ready. He's like, dude, I'm a boy. I like Jeeps. Is this your brand new adventure Jeep? <laughs> yeah? Is this the brand new adventure Jeep? What? Dudes, I bought you guys a Jeep. Yeah. So we could go on adventures, man. We're gonna ride on the beach here in Amelia Island. You can drive on the beach as long as you have a four-wheel drive truck. And guess what, dude? Just be four-wheel drive, my man. And my woman. man. <laughs> a tire's as big as you, mama. That tire is as big as you. She's like, I gotta go check under the chassis. Make sure uh, everything's good to go. Dad, did you pick the right one? Cause you know I, I, I wanted a TJ, right? This is a TJ, correct? Britney Spears is like, I'm I'm just freaking Jeep boy, bro. I'm ready to do Jeep things. You gonna go in the back and, and check out the back for Jeep stuff? Are you ready to go on adventures? <laughs> He's like, can we go to the beach, dog? Can we go? Because I'm ready. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for the awesome gift, man. Yeah, that's what's up. Good girl. What do you guys think, dude? What do you guys think? Good job. That's good job. <laughs> She's like, what did I just get into? I think Britney Spears is going to drive it, I guess. Look at this dog. This is real life, by the way. I hope you guys know this. This is real life. Are you driving a Jeep? <laughs> He's so happy. Dude, I've never seen a happier dog for getting a Jeep. <laughs> He's like, I know exactly what this is. Adventure Mobile. <laughs> if you guys had fun today hanging out with us and you want to see all the Jeep adventures with the Husky, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. We had a blast hanging out with you today and we can't wait to share tomorrow's episode with you where we go out and go on an adventure for the very first time. Like I said, don't forget to smash that like and hit subscribe and we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yeah, that's right. Whatever we make. Peace! Go bit a bop 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 ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo.